We are the Terrific 10 Volleyball Team. And you're watching the, the Varsity Roundtable! Nailed it! <laughs> From the top of the 222 building on College Avenue in downtown Appleton, it's Varsity Roundtable with Ricardo Arguello. Featuring Brett Christofferson. And Rosie. Tonight on the big show, WIAA Division I state champion Kakana wrestlers, Liam Cook, Nick Jenkins, and Lucas Peters. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricardo Arguello. All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Varsity Roundtable, a weekly look at high school sports in the Fox Valley area and the only live online high school sports talk show in the state. I'm Ricardo Arguello, part of the USA Today Network Wisconsin digital live stream team, and we are here in an amazing high definition on the 10th floor of the mothership, the 222 building. That's where the Post Crescent is. Uh, we're downtown Appleton, and this week, our focus shifts over to wrestling, and we are proud every year to have representatives from what I consider the platinum program in the state when it comes to top wrestling teams. No one does it better than these guys. It's the Kakana wrestling team, and we have here hanging out with us, we have Lucas Peters, Nick Jenkins, and Liam Crook. These guys are on board to talk about the great season they've been having. You know, that individual wrestling and the team state tournament that I won't say it's right around the corner, but it is right there on the horizon. So got to talk to these guys, you know, about what their expectations are for the rest of the season. But like I do before every show, I want to let you all know that we're interactive. So if you're watching us on your tablet, on your phone, or maybe on your desktop, you should see a chat application. If you, uh, you know, kind of mess around the screen there, log in, give yourself a name and only a first name because that's all what we're going to be reading. Kakana folks, I know you guys are a little <laughs> clever with some of those names. That's not happening this time. Brett's on the ball. We're not going to get any of those kind of goofy names over here, but uh, he's keeping track of all the chat stuff on the YouTube channel as well. He'll get those questions over to me and the guys. Don't forget about Jim Rosendick holding it down uh, behind uh, the computer. I'm not sure, exactly sure what he does, actually, but he, he gets all the technical stuff going on uh, uh, every each and every week. But like I do before every show, ladies, I know it's hard. Don't be asking the guys for numbers. Uh, I don't even know. I, see, I don't know if you guys have girlfriends and stuff, but you can't be doing that. This, this is just wrestling. I'm just talking about <laughs> wrestling. Sorry, boys. Can't help you with that, all right? You guys are on your own when it comes <laughs> to that. But I want to get some introductions, though. So uh, we'll start closest to my right with the senior, Lucas Peters. Here, Lucas, this is where I want you to look at that camera right over there. Let everyone know the weights or the weight that you wrestle at, how you got into wrestling. Go ahead, my friend. Uh, I'm a senior at Kakana. I wrestle 132. I've uh, been wrestling since about second grade, I believe. Um, just kind of started getting into it with my dad. Uh, you know, he wasn't a wrestler. No one really was a wrestler in my family, but I was kind of a, had a lot of energy as a kid, and he was like, you know, might as well give it a try. He had a few friends in high school that wrestled, so, you know, started out at the local program and, you know, just fell in love with it. I really liked the competitive aspect of it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was just you out there. You know, win or lose, I know how to fix it. You know, I can go back and take a look and fix it. So that was just kind of how I started. And then, you know, it developed into what it is today. And now it's, you know, it's my life pretty much. So. Good stuff. We're going to talk a little bit more about some of you, maybe uh, for all three of you, maybe your youth days a little bit. Over here, let's talk uh, to Nick about this. So give me, again, the weight that you wrestle at and how you got into it. Um, I'm Nick. I'm a junior at Kakana High School. I wrestle at 120 right now. And I got into wrestling when I was about four. My uncle wrestled. He was a state champ. And I started wrestling when I was really, really young, like barely four. And I just stayed with it. And then I really started getting into it after my freshman year and kind of just started getting a lot better since then. Okay. All right. Your turn, Liam. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Liam. I wrestle at 165, 165 pounds. And I got into wrestling, I would say, when I was about five, six. And it was just, I really liked uh, the uh, single aspect of uh, it's just me out there and being able to compete at my highest level. All right, good stuff. Again, if you have any questions for the three guys here, be sure to log into that live chat. Brett will get those questions over to me right away. I, I, I want to talk about the youth stuff in a little bit, okay, guys? But I think I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about how, yet again, I mean, it, this is like clockwork, you guys. Top ranked, 
you're gunning. This is a three-time defending team state champ. They're gunning for their fourth title. The expectations are so sky high every year. You know, it's one thing for a team to win one title. It's a whole other thing when you guys have a gigantic target on your back. Everyone, let me tell you something. I'll let you in on a little secret. Anytime I go anywhere and I mention Kalkona, that's the first thing people, oh, wrestling. See, people know you guys for that. What's that in terms of expectations? I'm going to start here with Lucas and go on down the line. Knowing that when anywhere you go, Kalkona is, you know, is synonymous with great championship wrestling. Um, you know, and... Uh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good question because a lot of times you can let that those expectations get the best of you and not yeah. really perform, you know, to how you can. Um, even at the individual side, you know, if you got a lot of expectations on you, you know, that pressure can be hard. But you know, that pressure is a privilege. Um, the guys before us have done the work to create those um, expectations for us. So it's kind of like you're doing the the guys behind you an honor by yeah. you know continuing on what they taught you and what the guys before before them taught them. So. You, know, you just kind of block out the expectations and just go in and wrestle how you know you can. And every season's its own. Um, you know, last year wasn't the year before, and you know, last year isn't this year. So yep. it's just you know, you block out what happened and focus on the present. So. Okay, Nick, Liam, anything to add? To um, that? so there's this saying that be a street sweeper okay. and that you need to step up to what you can do and do your part, like your job. Like not everyone's going to be the state champion, but I mean, you can help like everyone. You can do your part to achieve the biggest goal of reaching the state championship right. as a team. Okay. Do you have anything? Uh, just basically the same thing as Nick. Not everybody has the job that maybe Lucas Peters has or right. maybe not everybody has a job that other people have, but they all have a job that helps us win the team state title and maybe for some others an individual state title. Let's talk, uh, if we can here, because I, uh, Nick, you mentioned about the youth aspect of this. I want to get all of your guys' thoughts on this about and, and how much that is critical in what you guys do, right, in terms of feeding the beast, right? Kakana, you're a state champ, right? You, but you need it to start down at the youth level as well, no matter where you are, right? So how, how important was that for you growing up, you know, kind of maybe mm -hmm. watching the older guys and also that kind of feeding into what you know has to be kind of like a championship mentality? We'll start there with Nick. Um, my youth, I was not very good, to okay. be honest. I wasn't very into it, and I just didn't do a whole lot. Like I When did it change? When did it change? Freshman year. Okay, okay. And I just really started getting into it, and I really started liking it after that. And then I started progressing okay. as a wrestler, like, a whole lot more, just levels of um, getting better, and that's, that's really it for me. Liam, for did you like wrestling at that young of an age? Uh, I didn't really think too much about it. I just thought it was <laughs> okay. another place, you know, my parents could take me to just okay. let off some energy. But then I really um I really started liking like what it was about when I was in I would say fourth grade when I'd watch my older brother wrestle. Okay. And watching him and his team just you know, just be able to be a family mm -hmm. and see some sort of resemblance. I see that now today. Okay. And I understand why he loved it so much. Yeah, they're great picture there. Thank you, Rosie, again, for Rosie getting us some, some great pictures of those guys. Lucas, you talked about your parents not really having a wrestling background, so yeah. how, 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 talk about, as a youth, how much was that, how much did you, I guess, I don't want to say self-feed yourself in this way, but you know, you, you got to have a certain amount of interest to get to your success level, yeah, so and how did that start? I don't, I don't know, I don't really know what, uh, you know, really spiked my interest at the young age of, of liking okay. it as much. Um, Maybe because I was uh, on the smaller side, so okay. football wasn't really it. Okay. I played baseball till up t actually up till high school, eighth grade, right, okay. right around okay. COVID was when I quit playing baseball. But um, you know, you don't need that much of a size to be a baseball player. Right. Um, but I think so. Maybe the size thing was I was little, so I, wrestling was something I was wrestling another guy my size. Mm. You know, that was you know a big factor of it. But um, you know, they talked about how the youth, or you were saying how the youth can feed into the high school. I don't think youth success is that important to the okay. high school success. Um, it's really just about being into it and loving what you're doing. Okay. If you love wrestling, if you love, you know, that, that grind aspect of, you know, training and, you know, trying to be great and wanting to be great, that's really what it is because you take those big jumps in high school. Like, you know, Nick was saying, he didn't really find it until his freshman year of high school. Right. Uh, you know, so those guys that are saying, oh, he wasn't very good in mm -hmm. fourth, fifth grade, or, oh, he was really good in fourth to fifth grade. You know, sometimes that doesn't always transfer. Gotcha. Um, so I really just think how it should be is 
your goals in the middle school are I want to be good in high school and okay. you know to be good in high school you just got to fall in love with the sport and, and love what you're doing. So. Oh great, great stuff again here with Kakana wrestlers. We got Lucas Peters, Nick Jenkins and Liam Crook. Brett, we can t switch it over to Cyber World if you have anything or well, is it quiet? It's quiet. Carl tried typing a question but it's like, okay. it's like get cut off. So Carl, okay. if you're watching, please try again. But Ricardo again, the, we have the, uh, what, the chat next to the video viewer online also yeah. looking at Facebook, YouTube. So I know there's an audience out there, <laughs> but uh, wait well, for these some guys, questions. these guys, these guys are waiting. They're waiting for some questions, but I still have some more for you, so it's all good. Okay, uh, listen, like I was talking about before, you guys have seen as the very best in the state. Why, why, what, what is the? the can, can you pinpoint to one thing? Is it you athletes? Is it the coaching? Is it kind of like the expectations? What, if you had to look at one thing, what what kind of gets you where you guys need to be? I'm gonna start here with Lee and come back this way. Uh, what, why, why are you guys so dang successful? Um, I think it's kind of like what PD said, where it's we look back at what the others have done before us. Okay. You know, is that intimidating at all? Seeing all that? No. Well, 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 you guys all can answer that, but no, yeah. It's really more. It's like being. It's more of a confidence boost because okay. you kind of look at that and say, well, you know, if some of these guys can do it, why can't we? You know, Perfect, if yeah. someone's got to win it, why can't we? Ah. Okay. And it, it's something that um, I really like, and I think it's also because we understand that we have to do it as, as a team. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what our differences are. At the end of the day, we all want one goal. Okay. We all want to win. All right. Nick, Lucas, anything to add to that? Um, I think it's a lot to do with preparation and practice and them having so much experience that they, they know a lot from just being around the sport for so long. and. Uh, They've seen, like you said, past guys, they, mm -hmm. they've they seen them at their levels and they know what works and doesn't work and the problems that they had. And they can just use that all experience for us to yeah. so we can improve to our highest level that we can be at. Okay, Lucas? Yeah, uh, you know, he talks about got having experience from before and Coach Macek, you know, he's been coaching for a long time and along with that excellent coaching staff. Um, but, you know, he's got experience from Shoot, I don't even know how long he's been coaching. I'm sure you're watching. I don't know how long you've been coaching, but yeah, um, you know he's got experience, like like Nick said. Um, so yeah, they, you know that experience really helps. Yeah, dinosaurs roaming the planet <laughs> when Coach Machik started wrestling. Uh, Brett, did you have uh, nothing? But I have a question. Okay, I'm just wondering what what is the biggest misconception okay. of uh, the sport of wrestling? Right? Yeah, there you go. And you know there's thoughts. come on, you know there's that some. we don't eat. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> the big one. Everyone's oh, do you not eat? Listen, today? hold on now, Lucas. <laughs> now I offered them, uh, Coach Machik. I'm sorry, you can make me do some up downs or whatever you want me. I did offer them some candy before. Uh, just as a general gift, Lucas was the only one who had one. Both Liam and Nick are like, nope, no candy for us. So. Just telling you. See, it is a little bit of a misconception, yeah. but there's some yeah. truth to it. Um, but no, but yeah, you like to eat though, right? Yeah, I, I eat pretty good. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's probably the biggest one is like the, the make and weight kind of thing. It's not like that. We're just in, we like to get in good shape. That's how we make weight, so. Okay, anything from you guys, Nick and Liam? Um, I would say one thing is that everyone is cutting a lot of weight. Like, not everyone's cutting a lot of weight. Some guys on the team are only cutting a few pounds. Some guys are cutting zero pounds. And gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Some guys are giving up weight classes. So, yeah. like, not everyone is cutting 10, 15 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Liam, anything? Uh, that, like, how you're built decides if you're going to be uh, a yeah. good wrestler oh, or not. Oh, okay. And I, and I know we were talking about this before the show started, but I, I think we can all speak for it as it doesn't matter if you're super tall, super short. Um, you know, you can you can be yeah. just as good as anyone else. Yeah. See, Brett, you could you could have been a wrestler, even even <laughs> you. I no, don't have no. it up here. You got to have a lot of mental toughness <laughs> yeah. to be a wrestler. And I and I, ah, eat yeah. I and I love to eat too. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about the team chemistry. How would you describe your team chemistry? Um, from covering you guys, I always get a sense that it's very. You guys are very tight. It's really a brotherhood in some ways. But we'll start here with Lucas and go on down. What, what's the team chemistry like? If, um, if you can describe it. Yeah. Um, I would use the word family. But I feel like it's it's a li it's a little bit more. It's a little different. Okay. Because um, I feel wrestling is one of those few sports where you're trying to beat up the other guy. When right. You and so when you're training with your practice partner, you're trying to beat him up. And when you're practicing, you want him to try to beat you up too because okay. it's going to get you better. You know, you want to have that competitive advantage. And so that's why I don't like to use the word family sometimes. Okay. I um, you know, a lot of sports like to use you know that family mm -hmm. aspect, but. I would say brotherhood because brothers okay. brothers tend to fight and yes. you know they like to they like to go at it but at the end of the day you know we still love each other we're going to shake hands before and after practice and it's one of the few sports where 
you know, you shake hands right before and you shake hands right after. So right. I think that's a valued aspect of the sport that a lot of people don't really see. Nick, Liam, anything to add about the team chemistry aspect? Uh, I, I agree with PD. It's like a brotherhood. Like, we're in the room and we're battling each other. And, yeah. Um, but you get a little sick of each other, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Okay. All right. At the same time, when you're wrestling, those guys that you're battling and beating up on, they're getting loud, clapping, cheering for you as you're wrestling. Okay. You know, the, everyone's cheering for you on your team. You're, it's really, really a close knit, especially in those close situations. You know, a tight duel. You're getting, everyone's cheering for you, and it's just you feel like together, really. Okay, Liam. Anything else to add? Uh, I think yeah, brotherhood would be right because yeah. I mean I know sometimes, especially. PD and I, I mean, we may have some disagreements, but at okay. the end of the day, you know, when <laughs> settle it on the mat, when, uh, no. <laughs> when it's when it's crunch time and stuff like that, we both know that we gotta stay together, and no matter what happens. Now, individual state meet, team state meet. W w w c it, it, can you point to some differences there? Listen, I know the setup's different, but one is in the coal center, one's in the barn, right uh, over there at the field house. But uh, for someone who who maybe isn't familiar with it, what's it like? H how different is the individual tournament compared to the team tournament? We can go to Liam and then work our way back here. Um, definitely the volume. Like, uh, obviously, when you're at individual state, there's still a lot of people there. There's yeah, still, yeah. but it's really not as as close okay. of the kind of loud volume. Yeah, because it, it is true. At the field house, they're kind of right on top. Yeah, at team state, they're all just, mm. they're there. Like, I... I couldn't even hear the whistle blow okay. when I was at Team State. Okay. Um, and I think also just the amount of like pressure you might put on yourself. Okay. You know. Interesting. Okay, Nick. You um, say one thing for me is that with I find Team State more like a bonding experience. And, okay. Um, you know, you got your whole team there, including your guys that are reserves, and you know you're having fun with each other in the hotel. You know. You, Having just having a good time, and then when it comes out on the mat, you're warming up with your whole team. Like right, you're all there. True. Like at individual state, it's just how many guys you send there, and that's it. But team state, your whole team goes there, whole coaching staff, everyone. So mm, interesting, Lucas. Anything to add? Um, yeah, th I I think there's quite a quite a bit of a difference there. Um, like they're talking about the the team state vibes. Like you know, you're bonding with your teammates. You know, that three four day period of you know traveling and you know the parades and the events like that. I mean, you know, you're with your team, and the individual state's more of a, you know, I think it's more of a mental thing because it's you kind of by yourself out there. Maybe you and a and a one of your teammates, one okay. guy, you know, wait to wait. Um, especially when you get to the late ends of that tournament, you know, the state finals and stuff like that. It's, you know, it can be, I shouldn't say lonely, but you know, it's kind of you're alone in your thoughts and you're thinking about what you need to do to go out there and succeed. So it's a little bit different kind of of pressure because you're putting that pressure on yourself as the um, you know, at individual state and with that team state, uh, you know, I got to go out there and win for my team. Right. Whereas individual, you know, I'm, this is for myself. Like, you know, you represent your community and your and your school, but you know, these are your personal goals that you want to achieve. So, okay. there's a little bit of a difference there. But. Ah, great stuff again here with Falconer wrestlers. We got Lucas Peters, Nick Jenkins, Liam Crook, Brett. We have something from online. Let's get it out. Got a couple from Facebook actually, and okay. we'll, we'll kind of piggyback off that a little bit. Bryce wants to know what's the difference in in feel. And and the mental aspect when you're going from just average tournaments or maybe dual meets okay. to state. Anyone? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I I think they're all the same. Okay. Like, you know, you treat every match, every match the same. You know, there are no big matches, but every match is important. Okay. Um, you know, you anyone can get beat any day. Um, you know, trip on your shoelaces, okay. fall on your back, hip pinned, it can happen. Yeah. Um, so you know, every match is the same. There there are no big matches. Okay. Anything to add? Nick or Liam? No? Okay. Brett, that was good. And got another one? Let's do another one. This is, uh, it's either Jerry or Gary. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But how do you guys feel about girls wrestling? That sports Great question. Growing. That's not even the one I had on uh, there. Uh, do, you guys have a, uh, do you guys have some female members yet? Not on our team, no. I okay. Think, I think it's really important that we push it as much as possible because yeah. yeah. it's, it's something that I think uh, is highly underrated, you know? Because a lot of those girls out there are fighting just as hard as right. yeah. we do. You know, they're fighting for their chance to be put on the big board and to be noticed so that they can um, they can achieve what they want to achieve. Like some of them are really good because, you yeah. know, some of them are like coach's daughters. Yeah. And <laughs> you see at the state, right? You, you see some of them are just r really refined and technique-wise. Okay. You guys have any thoughts on that, Lucas um, or Nick? I mean, 
we train at our club practices in the summer, and there's a handful of you know really talented girls there. Okay. Uh, you know, they wrestle all around yep. the country. Some of the top ranked girls in the country train at our club at our okay. club. So, you know, I I think it's great for the sport. You know, why why can't they wrestle? I, I don't see anything of you know why they can or why they shouldn't at okay. least. So, all yeah. right. Anything to add to that? I I just think it's good. Like everyone gets an equal equal opportunity, and okay. that just like you know I'm small. This is a great sport for me. Some girls are going to be small and not going to do well in other sports. Right. And they can come out here, wrestle their weight class, and they can do really something yeah. really well for themselves. All right, great responses. We, you have one more, well, so, Again, continuing that conversation, uh, Bar Barbara checking in. She said, uh, my grandson just started wrestling, and while I was there, I'm, I'm assuming at a meet, uh, I saw girls and boys wrestling each other. So mm -hmm. these are eighth graders. She wants to know, what are your thoughts on boys wrestling girls? Uh, any thoughts on that? Has that experience, have you, any of you experienced that? I, uh, I have. Okay. Yeah. I think I've wrestled a girl, too, yeah. Um, um, Go ahead. No, you guys can both. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think it's uh, at a younger age. I think I think it's just sometimes what has or before at least it just had to happen if right. a girl wanted to succeed. But now mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit different. I don't think we can really pinpoint an exact feeling on it because now we have or girls have those opportunities right. to go out and wrestle at their own tournaments. Yeah. You know, I just saw a couple of days ago on social media like this invite was girls only and we got to see all these clips of girls doing what they do best you know oh so wow, i think it's just it's yeah. different now yeah yeah I, I definitely think he's got a good point you know at the younger age um you know if a girl wants to go wrestle in the guy's division all right uh you know that's your you know it's what your choice your belief uh and when he gets to high school i i think i like that we got that separate uh league now or division for, right. for mm -hmm. just girls i think that's very important you know they got their own mat now at the mm -hmm. Cole center I was excellent. I yeah. it, there were some great matches, at least. Yeah. I know I, there was a few times I was watching the girls. Right. Mat, you know, and not watching the 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 big mats. I guess you could say. Yeah. So, you know, I I don't see anything wrong with it at all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good stuff, Nick. Did you have anything? No. Okay. Let's let's take a time out, guys. We gotta do. We gotta pay some bills. It's our halftime of our show. We'll be back again back again for the second half of the Varsity Roundtable after these words. At Cellcom, our promise of extraordinary service makes life better for us all. It's about keeping you at the center of every extraordinary thing we do. It's technology with a heartbeat. Promote your business, unite your team, or just get your name out there with help from the professionals at Cooney's Embroidery and Sportswear. Family owned and operated for over 20 years, we have the skills and experience to customize your apparel and spread the word about your business or organization. We can put your logo, name, or anything else you want on any article of clothing. From embroidery and screen printing to graphic design and heat press services, we've got you covered. Call today. Varsity Roundtable. 
All right, back here, second half of the Varsity Roundtable. Guys, I know you're competitive, and, and, and I was thinking about, oh, well, what am I going to ask them for the How Well Do You Know game? we got to ask something. And, and Lucas mentioned last year it was bands, yeah. right? Did, now, who won that last year? Was, I did. He did, okay. <laughs> well, you remember. this one's a little bit more of a general topic because, you know, you kind of know your classic. That's not at all what this is. Completely different. It's about an, it's, it's on animals, okay? Oh. So how well do you know dogs? Ooh. And I don't mean dogs. I mean actual animals, the or, or a man's best friend, that Canines. kind of thing. Canines. What was that? Canines. Canines. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now the way this game goes, listen, we, we ain't got no money. You're gonna raise your hand. We don't have buzzers or nothing. So if you think you know the answer, raise your hand. And, and if you do it before I, I finish the question, I'm gonna stop right there. Okay. Just letting you know. So uh, each one of these questions get more difficult as we go along. Okay. So it starts easy, gets progressively harder. We do have a bonus in case we need it. And we usually do need it. So, Brett, are we ready? You're going to be watching the I'll guys here? I'll do my best, here? yeah. Oh, remember, this is the easiest question. All right. So we're starting off with the easiest question. Here we go. Number one, dogs. The common belief with age is that one human year is equal to how many? Okay, Liam. Yep. Seven. Yes. Good, Good job, Liam. One, zero, zero. There we go. Might be in over my head here. <laughs> yeah. This ain't rock bands, my friend. Uh, this one's a true or false. One of the rare ones I do. True or false. Question number two. Dalmatians are born with spots. Was it Liam, I think? I think it was by a Liam. Yeah, that's true. Fall. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh, you just you blew it. Yeah. Lucas I was knows. actually I was actually gonna say false. I, 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 I will say I was gonna say false. Should we just give it to Lucas? Sorry, I got a little upset there at myself. I'm not sure what you just threw. We're gonna give it to Lucas. We're gonna give it to Lucas. I was gonna say false. One zero. Well that was the only answer. Yeah. That's like true. So. So. Okay. One zero one. There you I go. got a little upset with myself, but I didn't keep myself in check there. Uh question three. Here we go. So one zero one. Come on, Nick. Come on, man. Uh, question three: A group of puppies is often referred to as what? Liam. Liam. A letter. Yes. Letter. Two zero one. Now maybe these questions are hard. These are getting pretty easy. They're easy because I'm getting them. Except I, for Nick. I used, to, I used to take care. I'm Nick's getting. <laughs> By the way, my Nick's. dog would be like ninety one, just about coming up. Okay. Okay. So getting old. Um, getting old. All right. Question four. Now we're getting a little bit more difficult. Now I'm going to ask you about a, a certain breed. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What dog breed is considered the largest? Liam? Is it a Great Dane? No. Largest in size you're yes. talking about? Yes, largest in size. Oh, oh. I think I might know this now. Oh. Oh, you can't. You already, you already answered. <laughs> I think I know oh. it. Full Mastiff? Yes. Wow. Mastiff. Thinking. Very one our, good. One of our coaches has one. Of oh, wow. Yeah. Pearson. Some, really? of those some of those dogs are gigantic. I don't even know what the food bill would be with those, some of those, <laughs> what, those what pooches. Is the, what is the name of it? Bull Mastiff, right? It's a Mastiff. Mastiff? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. you never they're heard of Mastiff? They're kind of like the sheep dogs. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're, they're I'll look they're it up here on the on the laptop. Okay. So what? it's 202? Yep. Yeah. Question five. This is a hard one, I think. What part of the body does a dog sweat from? It's tongue. No. Oh. Mm. Liam. The eyes? No. Come on, Nick. <laughs> okay, I got a second guess if Nick doesn't got it. Yes. Uh, the belly? No. Close. Well, it won't count, but go ahead. The paws? Yes. Yeah. Ah, the paws. Right. Paw now that you say that. You were close, Nick. Two zero two. But guess what? Bonus points worth three points. Three oh. points. Oh. Questions off. Nick, you can come back and win this. Everyone's in it here. Everyone. Bonus question for the win. The famous cartoon dog Snoopy is what breed? Mm. Liam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas. A beagle. Yes. yes. Boom. Good job. Got it. Lucas. Back to back champ. Nick, you got shut out. I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> uh, but congratulations. That's a two time winner on our trivia contest. Yeah. He bad. won the band one. The beagle. Good job. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm very amazed at the breadth of your knowledge, uh, Lucas. <laughs> you, you have you have quite 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 the expansive. Uh, I guess you know little things here and there, right? Good job. Let's start calling you Encyclopedia Lucas I thought Lucas you were going to ask Scooby-Doo. I thought you were going to ask that, that No, breed. no. That's what a Great is he? Dane, what, I think, What right? is Lucas? Lucas what is Scooby-Doo? I think Scooby-Doo Scooby is a Great Dane. Dane. He is a Great really? Dane. Yeah. yeah, good job. Okay. All right, get back to the questions. I don't, I, you know <laughs> i got to ask about Machik. Uh, and, and what can you tell me? And Lucas, I know you were on last year's show, but what can you tell me about the guy uh, that maybe hasn't been said before? First off, Coach Machik is, is great. I've been interviewing him since I first got here. This is like back in 06, 07. I've known him forever, one of the greatest coaches in our area, regardless of sport. But what can you tell me that maybe, so don't tell me he's a great coach. I know he's a great coach. What can you tell me that people might not know about? And there he is right there. Look at him. Look at him right there. Oh, Look intense. at him. He's zeroing in there. <laughs> Lucas, what can you tell me about Coach Macha? Um, I think I said this last year, but it's, I think it's his greatest quality, and I'll, I'll say it again. Um, his ability to, to conversate or, you know, um, 
relate to, to anyone on our team. Is, ah, very good. I think it's very, very, okay. very important. Um, you know, we don't always talk wrestling. We talk baseball. We're both baseball guys. Pretty sure he played hardball until he was, you know, up into his 40s. You know, he's, okay. He's a big okay. baseball guy, and I'm a big okay. baseball guy. So, um, you know, we, we talk baseball all the time. We talk golf a lot. Um, you know, we go out golfing in the summer every once in a while. So, you know, it doesn't always have to be about, about your sport or, you know, we talk about the Bucks basketball. You know, they just changed their coach. So we were talking yeah. about that the other okay, day. Okay, okay. Um, you know, just being able to build that, that bond with the coach is really important. So. Did they give it to you because you're a Bears fan too? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, all yeah. right. Sorry about that, my friend. That's Believe okay. me, I know all about that. Uh, Nick, anything? Or, or Liam, uh, anything you can tell me about him? I think it's like he, that he cares for everyone on the team. Okay. Like some coaches, they don't care about the first-year guys who maybe only will wrestle a year or two more, like the new guys, but – he truly cares for everyone and makes an effort for everyone on the team to okay. do well and cares for everyone's success. Great stuff. Nick, go ahead, Liam. Uh, just piggybacking off of what <coughs> Lucas kind of said, it was, you know, he understands that we're all different. Yeah. And he understands that it takes time to have a good relationship and that it's uh, he has to put in as much effort as we have to in understanding what we need to be successful. Okay, good stuff. By the way, real quick, you, you you guys, any any interest in maybe coaching? That's managing a lot of personalities. I mean, any interest there, Lucas or uh, Nick or Liam? Yeah, yeah. 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 We have uh, we run this. The Kakana Club runs a small youth uh, camp, I guess you could say, okay. throughout the summer, and uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. I love getting up there and you know giving back to the community, okay. to the to the sport that gave me everything I love. So uh, I I enjoy going back and coaching. I don't know if that's a you know, future big time. Okay, path, sure, but sure, sure. It's definitely not completely out of the cards, I guess you could say. How about Coach Jenkins, maybe? <laughs> Coach yeah. Cook, right? I mean, I got a, I got a few little brothers, so ah. I'd like to help them guide their way through high school, and I think it'd be a fun experience for me. Are you tough on them a little bit? Yeah. Okay, that's good, yeah, right? How about you, Liam? Any uh, any chance? Yeah, I like I like the the feeling knowing that I can I can help kids achieve okay. possibly what. I want to achieve now and even in the future. Okay, great stuff. Brett, do you have something from online? Yeah, Gary Jerry, again, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but wants to know what advice would you give someone uh, starting out? And by that, he means uh, someone who might be losing quite a bit uh, because of the experience great. difference in opponents. Oh, so maybe yeah. dealing with some early adversity as a young wrestler and, and how do you get over that? That is a great question. So how do you keep someone's interest Hi, well, we'll start here with Liam and come back this way. For someone who's maybe struggling a little bit, maybe wants to quit, right? Um, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I don't think it's ever truly over, you know, until it's over. Like we always, or Coach Machek always says, it's not over until the ref blows the whistle and mm. you take off your ankle band. Well, most of the time you haven't even begun the second period Yeah, and you're still starting to quit so I think that's a big thing is understanding it's not over until it really is over okay uh, something I got is like you get in what you put out okay. so if you really work hard in the off season you really like strive to improve yourself and you're going after something that you're, you're likely gonna achieve what you're going after if you're going at it really really hard okay. so if you just bust your butt every day that you're gonna get what you want, probably. Yeah, Lucas, it's a demanding sport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coach, you know, Coach Maschek has this analogy. He talks about you can't put your guitar in the closet and come back out, you know, when the when the season starts and try to beat Eddie Van Halen. Okay, it's that's just, a great one. It's yeah. just not gonna work. Yeah. So um, he's big on getting guys, even if you're not wrestling, working out and staying in shape and ideally, you know, wrestling and keeping your mad IQ, you know, growing, growing, even if it's. You know, small little jumps, that's small little jumps you weren't going to get if you weren't in there. So I love what Nick said about, uh, you know, you get in what you, you know, you get out what you put in. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even get that. So you might as well, uh, you know, put in everything you got. If, if you want to be great at something, especially in wrestling, uh, you can. You have the tools to do it. You just got to maximize your effort. Uh, I think that's something that's really helpful. Great stuff here. Uh, we're going to be wrapping it up, though, kind of shortly. But I, I still got to do a little bit of these promos real quick. Let me motor through these. By the way, and you guys have been our team of the week on our on our Packers show. Our final show is this week, right, Brett? Uh, the extravaganza edition? Yeah, we just had Leroy Butler on Monday we recapping the 49ers-Packers setback, unfortunately. But, right. yeah, now we have our big prize giveaway show, and we're done. 
Not unfortunately, me and Lucas were loving it, watching <laughs> that. But uh, no, but you're right, Brett. We, it's a giveaway show, yep. so come on down. If, if you've been there during the during the year, you probably got entry forms. We're gonna be giving away a lot of great stuff and great stuff. You have a lot of great stuff. Signed so Packers come on helmets. down. Yep. Our final show this Monday, 6:30 p.m. over there at Timber Rattler Stadium. Live stream of the week, real quick for basketball. Kimberly at Appleton North next Friday. Brett. Kimberly at Appleton we North. We just had our, our game of the week yesterday, last night. So That's that'll be right. our next one. Yep. Um, you know we're on TikTok. Varsity oh, Roundtable is on TikTok. Really? You got to follow us if you haven't. Uh, anybody out there as well, follow us uh, at Varsity Roundtable. Listen, I I don't know anything about TikTok. I, I mean, the, the the volleyball girls had to help me set it up. I didn't know what I was doing, but I just felt that this is what you guys are all on, and I want to make sure we get you know people know who's going to be on the show that stuff. So follow us on TikTok at Varsity Roundtable. And guys, end of the show, we got shout outs. Okay, right. so don't forget to send some love out to people who got you where you are today. Brett, did you have something else real quick? I, I just was was curious, uh, mental versus physical, what is the toughest challenge when it comes to wrestling? My guess it's what's between the ears. Maybe. Yeah, let's start with Nick there, then go to Liam and then Lucas. Um, So for me, toughest part is definitely mentally. And, okay. you know, always keeping yourself in that position to win. Never, like PD said, never giving up in, you know, early stages of the match or not giving up in a position like where you think you're going to take it down. Because if you just stay with it, you never know how it's going to go. Like, you never know how a match is going to end. You, and like Bacic says, it's not over till the w ref blows the whistle and you take off your ankle band. Okay. All right. Get Liam, Lucas. Uh, I would say it's it's definitely mental. You know, understanding that it's okay to be uncomfortable and it's okay to be pushed in the, you know, that, that dark place, those deep waters. Okay. Like, we just had a big conversation about fatigue. Okay. And you, you may... Well, at the end of a, a five five minutes and you got one minute left of the match, you're going to be tired, but that other guy's also tired. So how are you going to deal with your fatigue? Okay, great stuff, Lucas. Yeah, um, you know, they speak about mental, and I, I agree mental is definitely the toughest part, but um, and if you want something about physical, uh, especially when you get late into the year, you know, guys start getting banged up. You yeah, know, you're, yeah. you're obviously going to be tired. What We wrestle, you know, 50-something matches throughout the year. That's, that's a lot. Um, Especially if you are getting tough competition, uh, you know, like Kakana tries to get. You know, we, we're going out trying to find the best guys and, and wrestle them. So you know, you can get banged up, and you know, I think that's when the mental aspect comes in, where it's like, you know, sometimes you're gonna. The answer is, you know, toughen up and you know, go through it kind of thing. So I guess that's where you can kind of combine the physical and mental edge. Before we wrap up with some of these final questions, I forgot to ask this because I remember, I think last year this came up. Remember you were telling me, I think you guys were telling me about uh, you guys would go uh, to Europe and maybe Russell, was that to um, you guys? Yeah, I I have. I, Le Did Liam, that happen again he, this, this past? I no, we, I didn't go again. Do you think go? No, I'll be going in March. Yeah, so oh, okay. He'll so we're going again in March. Where are you heading out to, by the way? I'm heading to Estonia. Okay. And then I will be going over to Finland as well, I believe. Yeah. Okay, you excited for that? Is oh, that yeah. your first? Yeah. Okay. No, this is my this is my second time okay. now. Okay. Okay. I'm really excited to go back and see some of the people that I met okay. before. All right, good stuff. I just want to know if that was happening again yeah. for you guys. It's really um, fascinating, yeah. It is. It's fascinating how how, how well how well great worldly experience. you guys are, are getting just through wrestling. I mean, that's great. Um, rit real quick, rituals and superstitions. What do you get ready? I'm gonna start over here with Liam and come back this way. What do you do to get ready for your match? Um, just I'm just kind of pacing around and uh, okay. I got my music on. Okay, wait, Bieber. What's a little Bieber? <laughs> Uh, on the floor. Uh, yeah. Sometimes, like, uh, I like listen to Hotel Room Service by Pipple. Okay, that there we go. Okay, year. how about for you, Nick? What are you doing before um, a match? Like, usually, what I do is I drink water with a liquid IV in it. I've done it every way okay. in, after every way in, and I like like my music a lot, and okay. got my AirPods in, and... But what's your music of choice? I like Kanye West a lot. Okay, before okay. My matches. You guys know, yeah, these guys know what's up. All right. So that's that's basically what yeah. you do. Okay, good stuff. How about for you, Lucas? Re um, remind us what you do. For me, when I was uh, when I was younger, freshman, sophomore year maybe, and a little bit in middle school, I was really superstitious. Like I had to, yeah. you know, wear wear the same pants, form up everything, and gotcha. the same song every time. And it kind of got in the way. So now, uh, I try to change it up every single time. I wear oh. I wear stuff different. I I wear I got I'm a big wrestling shoe guy, so I got a lot of different shoes. I try to wear a different shoe. You know, every tournament, every duel. Well, that's definitely a ritual, though. Yeah, that's a so, superstition. So I guess okay. my superstition is to be unsuperstitious and but in change, in, change but, everything up. But still being superstitious. Yeah. Right. So I like that. that yeah. Boy, take that one through a little. That's bit. blowing. Yeah. That's blowing. That, that's blowing wow. my mind. That, that's that's all over the place. Um, 
Oh, I wanted to ask you, Lucas, about going to Indiana. He has to go ahead, show it off. You can show it off, my friend. He's heading out there. Uh, why? Why? Why was the Hoosiers? Why? Why did that fit you? Why? Why was that the choice for you? Um, Coach Angel Escobedo out there. He's, he's a young coach. Um, wrestled on the highest level. Uh, world team member, um, you know, national champion, Big Ten champion. Okay. Um, it's just that was one of the driving aspects there, and the whole the whole culture of the team there uh, w was excellent. And they, you know, it's it's wrestling in the Big Ten. It's the toughest conference for wrestling out there. Yep. Um, so you know, to be able to follow some of the guys on our team that are now wrestling in the Big Ten, um, you know, that's that, that's something cool for me to to be able to go out there and wrestle in that strong conference. But yeah, Indiana, you know, it's great. I'm happy with my decision, excited to you know, get out there next fall. And, and go ahead and tell everybody what you want to do. He wants to take our jobs. He does, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll be uh, majoring in journalism, Yeah. Um, hopefully to get uh, with a minor in Spanish. That's okay. kind of my, my game plan there. And uh, yeah, I'm fascinated by all this, you know, the camera equipment, the interviewing, the questions. And uh, I got into it because, you know, sometimes you see those reporters ask awful <laughs> questions. <laughs> Ricardo's not one of them, though. He, he asks good questions. He's so nice. He's being way too no, nice. No, Ricardo too. asks good questions. He has yeah. good questions. But good stuff. Okay, and for Nick and Liam, the college aspect of it, is that something that you guys want to do as something? Uh, Nick, we can start here and then go to Liam. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking about it, but for op options, I'm completely open right now and okay. just waiting to see where these next two years take me. Okay, Liam? Um, right now, because I'm only a sophomore, right. so I'm just uh, just trying to make a name for myself to get right. those opportunities to be open. But I'm... Um, Next year, I'll be 100% open for whatever I can get. Well, good stuff, and best of luck to you guys, huh? It's time for our shout outs. All right, so I want you guys to look at that camera right there, and we always start farthest to my right, so Liam, you're starting it. So go ahead, send some love out to people who got you where you are today. Uh, shout out to my mom and my dad, obviously. Um, probably my grandpa, he's a big Lions fan, and they're doing yeah, pretty well. All right. Um, uh, my coaches. Uh, Peyton Lee, one of my teammates, he's one of my best friends. Um, Luke Newsart and Zach Winnikins. Okay, all right, your turn, Nick. Um, my shout out goes to my parents and my family who they sacrificed a lot for me able to uh, get the opportunities that I have and be to the places that I am. And Andy DiPiazza for just scrapping every day with me and getting to the highest level that I can be at. All right, good stuff. Go ahead, Lucas. Um, my parents, Bill and Erica Peters, uh, they're probably my, I guess I'll say second biggest supporters behind my grandpa. Okay. Uh, he, he's texting me every day. My grandpa is, uh, you know, seeing how I'm doing. I'm calling him to see how he's doing. So I think he's watching tonight. Grandpa, I love you. I appreciate everything you do. Um, our coaches, we got mm -hmm. Coach Machek, Coach Van Schindel, uh, Coach Shikuski, Coach Pearson, um, Coach Smith, they're all out there. Um, at Kakana, along with Coach Josh Wagner over at our club coach in the summer. Okay. I uh, you know they're doing great things. Um, also, my mindset coach, Ray Jazenkoff, uh, he's being able to take my mental mental edge to the next level, I believe. Um, and then also my girlfriend, she's really supportive. Um, we've been dating for like two years now, so we all appreciate it. She, she puts up with me even when I get a little hangry. So. Okay. All right, good <laughs> stuff. Very smart. Yeah. He's very smart. Yeah, he's not in the doghouse now, right? <laughs> uh, he's doing well here. Guys, my last question is because, and an individual I know, I want you guys all there. Obviously, Lucas, you're, you're a state champ, all that kind of stuff. What can you tell me about the team aspect, though, in repeating as four-time state champs? I think, I, I'm, I remind, I'm not sure if you guys know, I'm not sure if that's been done before, if it has. I just looked up, I think Rapids has the record, okay. what, seven straight, I want to okay. say, I think it said. You guys are going into some really elite you know, yeah. a strata there uh, with that. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go right down the line here, starting with Lucas. What's it going to take for you guys to do that, to, to come home with that fourth um, you know, championship? You know, we talked about earlier in the show, it's, uh, you know, that pressure can kind of get to you sometimes with those big expectations like you talked about. Uh, but you just kind of use that as motiv motivation. You know, you try to do what the guys before you did and what they taught you and what the guys before them taught them. Uh, you know, you just try to block out the past and focus on the present and, you know, execute what you know you can execute. You go out there and wrestle your best match Control what you can control, and you know, it'll take care of itself. Okay, Nick. Uh, something that helps me a lot, like for those high pressure situations, is uh, every match is a new match, and you know, uh, it doesn't matter what's been done before. It's upsets happen everywhere, and expectations are high, so you don't know what you can do out there. Okay, Liam. Um, I think uh, one of our coaches, Coach Cleaver, always says, "Know where your feet are at." Yeah. You know, just. Just because you walk out there and there might be a lot of people yelling, you know, go Kakana, doesn't mean that it's some 
it's something that needs to be you know thought about constantly sometimes you just got to sit down you got a good team around you and just have a good time okay great stuff again Lucas Peters, Nick Jenkins, Liam Crook, part of the fantastic Kakana top ranked again uh, wrestling team. Best of luck, gentlemen. I'm going to be Thank both you. at the Cole Center All right. and uh, over there at the Field House. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. I love going to Madison and covering you guys because that's basically for sure I know who I'll be covering is you guys. So thank you guys. And, you know, no pressure, but when you guys win, it's easier for me to write a story. So <laughs> no pressure on you guys, all right, but just letting you know that. Will you think about me for once for, right, instead, yeah. of, instead of yourselves there? But uh, congratulations, gentlemen. Best of luck, and we'll see you uh, over there late February and early March. But, uh, Brett, for the next week's show, though, listen, I'm in talks with Notre Dame girls mm. basketball, Hortonville girls basketball, mm. so we're trying to get those two on. Uh, hopefully, maybe the Kakana Boys basketball in the near future. So, best place to find out, go to that TikTok page at Varsity Roundtable. You know, become a what? what are you a subscriber on TikTok or you're a follower? Yeah, you're a follower oh, on TikTok. Yeah. So, become a follower of the Varsity Roundtable, and I'll try to update that as much as possible. Or on Facebook for the older folks, Facebook talk. Facebook.com slash Varsity Roundtable. Till next week, again, thank you to the Kakana Wrestling Team. Gentlemen, best of luck. For everyone out there, for Brett and for Jim Rosendeck, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back here again next Wednesday for another edition of the Varsity Roundtable.